Hey everyone, now a lot of people seem to have issues starting to build their house. They don't know where to start and what to do to actually have a nice house and they usually end up with something looking like a mess that they will remove eventually. So today I'm gonna try and help you build a better house from scratch and how you can do it and build your own dream house. <laughs> Now let's start with the first beginner's mistake a lot of people make and that is starting to build the outside shell to the house. What usually happens is you see your plot and you think okay hey I got all this space I can better use it and they start by building a wall that goes all the way up here and then they continue that here something like that. I'm just building something you guys I'm just uh, not really like building a good house or whatever but it's just an indication of what happens a lot of the time and then they have this shell and then they get the multiple floors game pass of course because that is a very important game pass to get and then they build on top of that and they continue to build and they fill up their plot and then they have some room left here so they add another wing here for example and they continue that maybe they'll leave it at one floor or one story and then they add the roof and yes i know this house is a disappointment <laughs> i'm just making a statement i'm so sorry but yes then they um go into build mode and they go into decorate and they start decorating and suddenly they realize that they have way too much space and they're like, I'm not looking forward to this anymore. I can't finish this and I don't need this much space. So, so that's a thing that happens a lot of the times, building the outside shell to the house, making it look really big and then not really knowing what you're gonna put inside. And that is one of the uh, most occurring beginner's mistake that I see happening on Bloxburg. Now, the first thing you can do is if you have a room in mind, for example, you have your living room in mind and you wanna start building with that, then you choose a spot somewhere in the middle of your plot, not towards the front, not towards the back too much. And you just place your sofa and how you imagined it to look like. For example, I'm gonna place another coach right next to it. And then you want, for example, a carpet in your living room, just everything basically that you see in living rooms. You also thought of having a fireplace. Let's just create one wall for now. And you want your fireplace to be here somewhere. So for example, this, and then right next to your fireplace, you wanted some windows. I'm just giving a general idea. So you have this, for example. And as you can see, I got too much space between the couches and the fireplace. So what I do then is I move this a little bit just so that I can keep the idea of having my living room that I want it. And then you can start closing that in, but think about what you will build next to it. So for example, here, I'm just gonna continue by building my dining room. So what I will do again is copy this rug right here and just start building like that. So don't build the outside shell first, but think about your room planning and how you want to do the house. Now I have gotten my dining room, but I do think the table is a little too close to the wall. And since I still have room left to change it because I didn't build the outside shell first, I will actually move it a little bit into the middle of the room that I want. And then I can just continue this wall right here. And I do want the kitchen to be right behind it. So right over here. So I continue this wall and I drag this across so that I can drag all of my appliances to the wall right here and I do want my kitchen to be closed off so what I do is I just use this and maybe I should make my kitchen a little bit larger and as you can see my table isn't centered I can easily fix that by doing this and if you built your entire house like that it might not look like the best on the outside but there's a lot of changes you can do to make that look better for example you can build nice roofs if you go into pillars you can add pillars to the outside of the house to make it look a little bit better like that and it's just easy stuff like that that will make you have a better house than what you were planning to build with your mansion that you initially had and it just makes it a lot easier to add rooms to that and add a second story and stuff like that because you think about space planning a lot more. Now if you get a little further in playing Bloxburg and you have more experience to what it is you can either grab a piece of squared paper because these are squared and you already know how big items are like the couches are two squares and then the beds are like two by one or two by two depending on which bed you want. So it's easier for you to plan out what you can also do is go into the fences if you don't have a paper next to you or you don't want to draw on paper and you just start creating the things that you want. For example I want this 
this to be my front door and my hallway and in the hallway the stair is gonna go here and then here I am gonna have a little toilet so I'm gonna close that off and then this is going to be stairs and then we have the door to the living room and I want the living room to be over here next to the dining room which I'm gonna make five blocks and I'm gonna drag this in a little bit so that the kitchen is gonna go here and this is how you start planning out stuff so this is going to be the dining room and then what you can do to indicate your rooms is just add a simple decoration that is cheap but that reminds you of which kind of room you are going for for example I'm gonna put the cheapest fridge in here or just an item that you want to use in that room and then a couch in here for example and then if you're happy with your layout you can start adding walls around it or make it bigger as you wish but this is an easy way to start layouting before you actually spend a lot of money on your house now if you truly 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 do not know where to start there is another tip I have for you and that is going to Pinterest so now I looked up modern house layout and as you can see I can see a lot of layouts in here and this will link me to websites that have layouts and as you can see it's very easy to copy that from up top you can still draw it out with the fences that you have obviously so for example small house layout and then you got houses like this so if you want to copy that that can work as well don't look at the details too much when you start you just want to build the shell and the inside not adding any details you can add details later on so this is the house for example the pillars can wait everything else can wait you just need doors windows walls and your inside decorations and as you can see right here this is gonna be two blocks wide because this is a bed so you can add another three here because this is a closet and this is one space wide so I assume there's two spaces in here one space here so that it's easy to copy so we have one two three four five six walls for the bedroom and then four walls to this because the bed is two blocks wide but I do want some extra space for a tv cupboard so you can easily copy like that and then the final small tip I want to give you is collecting some furniture that you like before you start building for some people it really helps to start building their house for example I really love this flex freeze fridge so that I want to keep and then encounters, I like this one next to it. I'm gonna paint it still, but I do want that one. And then I want a, a stove right next to that. And for beds, I want two bedrooms, one with a small bed, one with a larger bed. And then I want the tufted sofa with that and then a smaller version of it. And then you can just start moving this stuff around as you like. Just placing all the stuff that you want basically so for example I want an open plan kitchen living room so I'm gonna just place that here for example with the couches face towards the other side and it's just easier like that because you know what you want in your house already and you can just start playing around with the furniture and you don't get frustrated because you have too much space or whatever you can just basically do what you want with this and it's just an easy way to build a house as well and then for colors of your house a lot of people paint their house in either too many colors too many materials or too little of it all and the tip I have for you and I'm not really good at that myself I admit that but I know the tip so I can just use it to help you you create four to five walls like I would say max five walls because that's already a lot of materials and then you go to a material that you like for example I do want to use some bricks in my house then for wallpaper I want to use the zigzag for example then in the bathroom gonna go for the detail tiles and I do want some other tiles for my split flash wall in the kitchen so for example the subway tiles and then I got one more material left for the ground and for the ground I will pick some wood and then you add colors that you like so for the ground I want linen for these tiles I'm gonna go for dark stone gray for example then these are gonna be blue the zigzag is gonna be beige and then this is gonna be another color for example cashmere or a dark red whatever you decide to choose so I'm gonna go for linen as well because then I only have four colors to worry about and then of course you can add a wall trim to that something that you like uh, so for example this and you want to use the same colors so this is going to be dark stone gray but I am gonna give it a different material so this time I'm going for the plastic because plastic is very subtle you don't need to worry about that but don't use too many materials that are in your face like these tiles and then combining with the zigzag and stuff like that can be very risky but this is just a color and material palette that you can use throughout your house outside and inside and it just makes it a little more easy to build your house you don't want every single room to be a different style or a different color and 
material because then there's no coherence to your house and you just want to stick to that color palette. I know it's hard sometimes, but sometimes you can cheat, but don't cheat on it too much because this is already quite a lot as you can see. So combining the tips, the biggest tip I can give you is plan out before you build the outside shell of your house. Don't build it too big from scratch, but start room by room and see what you want. Layouting is very important as well. So draw it out, go to Pinterest, pick a layout that you like, copy that, but give it your own personal touch. And then of course the color and material palette that you want to stick to, otherwise your house is just gonna be too much. But still you can choose what you want to do. I just wanted to give these tips in hopes of helping you build a better house. Of course, I'm not the best builder myself. So these are just tips that I learned through the years and I just wanted to give them to you. But if you don't like them, then you don't have to use them obviously. So anyways, that was it for today. I hope I helped some of you at least. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe.